Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome again, dear viewers, to the program, our episode about the benefits, the book written by Ibn Qayyim, rahimahullah. We ended the last episode with a topic of the importance of the heart. It is important to prepare a sound heart that you're going to be taking with you at the day when people will be gathered. At that day, there's nothing will be beneficial to the person, neither wealth nor children, but one who comes to Allah with a sound heart. As Allah the Almighty said in His glorious Quran, يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٌ At that day, nothing will be beneficial for the person, neither wealth nor children, but one who comes to Allah with a sound heart. That shows the importance of coming to Allah with a sound heart. But how can we have a sound heart. You have to work on that. You have to purify your heart from the diseases that may cause the heart to be sick or sometimes it cause the heart to be dead. Nevertheless, the death, the spiritual death of the heart will not be malfunctioning the heart from working physically. We remind ourselves and yourselves of the hadith that the Prophet, peace be with him, said, There is a piece of flesh in the body of the person. If it became sound, the whole body becomes sound. If it's corrupted, then the whole body will be corrupted. When the enemy of Allah, that is the devil, had known this, this kind of, of this secret, that the secret of the soundness of the heart is based, uh, of the body or the person is based on the soundness of the heart. He dedicated all of his efforts to corrupt this heart. Because you know that if the heart is ruined, the whole person is ruined. And if the heart is sound, the whole person will be sound. Coming to another topic of the book, The Benefits for Ibn Qayyim, rahimahullah, where he gave a title, which says, Two enemies that most people are perished thereby. Who are those enemies? Number one, he said, One who blocks the other's from the way of Allah, by the doubts that he gives, by the deluding decorative speech that he gives. That's number one. Number two, one who is infatuated by life, seeking to be the highest, seeking the high ranks, seeking to be always in the front of all people, seeking to show off. <coughs> Ibn al-Qayyim went on to say, All the universe was created for you. But he created you for him. He created the whole universe for you, but he created you for him, not for the universe. Let the believer know his value by hearing those beautiful and marvelous verses of the Qur'an. What Allah the Almighty says. In the beautiful chapter called Ghafir, the Forgiver. Alladheena yahmiluna al-arsha wa man hawlahu yusabbihuna bihamdi rabbihim wa yu'minuna bihi wa yastaghfiruna lilladheena amanu. Rabbana wasi'ta kulla shay'in rahmatan wa ilma. 
فاغفر للذين تابوا واتبعوا سبيلك وقهم عذاب الجحيم ربنا وأدخلهم جنات عدن التي وعدتهم ومن صنح من آبائهم وأزواجهم وذرياتهم إنك أنت العزيز الحكيم وقهم السيئات ومن تق السيئات يومئذ فقد رحمته وذلك هو الفوز العظيم إن الذين كفروا ينادون لمقت الله أكبر من مقتكم أنفسكم إذ تدعون إلى الإيمان فتكفرون قالوا ربنا أمتنا اثنتين وأحييتنا اثنتين فاعترفنا بذنوبنا فهل إلى خروج من سبيل ذلكم بأنه إذا دعي الله وحده كفرتم وإن يشرك به تؤمنوا فالحكم لله العلي الكبير Those are impressive verses. I would give you a glimpse of those wonderful verses by translating them into English. Allah the Almighty says, those, that means the angels, who carry the throne and those around it, they exalt their Lord and praise Him and believe in Him and ask forgiveness for those who have believed. Do you know your value now? Those who are lifting the throne, they do not forget to seek forgiveness for those believers on earth. They say, Our Lord, You have encompassed all things in mercy and knowledge, so forgive those who have repented and followed Your way and protect them from the punishment of the hellfire. Our Lord, and admit them to the gardens of Eden, which you have promised them, and whoever was righteous among them, their fathers, their wives, and their offsprings. For indeed, it is you who is the exalted in might, the wise, and protect them from the evil consequences of their deeds. For he whom you protect from evil consequences that day, you will have given him mercy. And that is the grace the greatest attainment. Those who disbelieve will be addressed, it will be said to them, the hatred of Allah for you is even greater than your hatred of yourselves when you were invited to faith, to believe. But you disbelieved. That means rejected. They will say, Our Lord, you made us dead twice and gave us life twice and we have confessed our sins. So is there a way or an exit from this horrible situation? The answer will be to them is this. That is because when Allah was called upon alone, you disbelieved. But when others are being associated, or when others are associated as partners with Him, then you believe. If Allah is called alone, you disbelieve. But when others are associated with him, then you believe. So the judgment, the decree, the decision is with Allah, the Most High, the Grand, the Grand, the Greatest. These are the marvelous verses of the Quran that shows that or that show the value of the believer. You are a valuable creature if you are a believer. If you're not a believer, There's no value. Let me put it that way. For Allah had created life for you, so do not be busy with it or deal with it as if you were created for it. It was created for you, but you were not created for it. And cry for your sin. For crying and grievance or regret 
it may encourage you today to return and to repent to Allah. While there will be a day where people will be crying, they will not be shedding tears, but they will be shedding blood. But it will not be beneficial to them because it was too late. It's over. Ibn al-Qayyim went on saying, You should know how much you have lost in this life. And you should try to compen compensate. Try to make it up. For he who observes the truthfulness and the reality of the hereafter, it will be easy for him to forsake and to leave this life, this present life. And whosoever remembers the sweetness of relationship with his Lord, the bitterness of striving will be easier on him. Striving is not easy. It has a bitterness. But when you taste the sweetness and the, the delightness of being closer and closer with Allah, the bitterness of your striving will, tend, will turn to be or it will become sweetness in a matter of fact. Paradise is contented with you by the obligations of the rituals you conduct, such as obligatory prayer, obligatory fasting, charity, etc. And the fire will be pushed away from you by quitting the sins. But the loving of Allah will not be enough, will not be satisfied with you except by giving your spirit for it. Giving your spirit. That is, if you love Allah. And we're talking about the true love of Allah. How can you achieve the loving of Allah? We need the love of Allah. I mean, you think that you are out of the need of Allah's love and mercy and forgiveness? We need Allah's love and forgiveness. But how can you achieve it? Listen to this verse. What Allah the Almighty says. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِ يُحْبِبِكُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَّحِيمٌ Say, if you really love Allah, then follow me. Allah is ordering His Prophet to say that, to convey that, to proclaim it to all people. If you really love Allah, then follow me. What's happened? What would happen if you obey the Prophet, peace be with him? Allah then will love you and forgive you your sins. And Allah is forgiving, most merciful. By this, you can achieve the loving of Allah. No two things will be gathered in one person, loving Allah and loving to innovate. Innovation is the contradiction of loving Allah. So if you want to be beloved by Allah, avoid innovating. Follow the Prophet, peace be with him. This is your way. So, in order to be beloved by Allah and to be forgiven, do not innovate and follow. This following of the Prophet will be fruiting the forgiveness of Allah and the loving of Allah. We continue on the next episode with a beautiful topic, the benefits. Be with us on the next episode. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa